for his living for like the last yeah. 15 years. And it's, they keep adapting to him too. And there's like, so many different foxes over the years. I mean, yeah. it's kind of the same story alongside Zane, where it's like you kind of have Cody Schwab come up and really start making things happen again. Yeah. Pre pandemic, and then now finally just solidifying into a very difficult bracket demon for HBox at times. Although he's been doing quite well this year, I will say. Yeah, he's been a he's great been doing great. for HBox. Like, a lock for top five. He's been he's beaten like basically everyone else yeah. uh, besides Zane uh, of his peers. Yeah, he got Wizzy this year, didn't he? He got Wizzy. I don't. I'm, I'm trying to recall. I don't think he's beaten Wizzy no. this year, actually. Hope. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Melee stats, correct me if I'm wrong. I love you guys. But we're in it. Losers finals. I mean, this yeah. is for third place right now, Aklo. This is another really strong showing for Aklo. I mean, the another losers run two right? also. Losing, Several. Losing out in a round two pools, mind you. So before winner's quarters. Right. Uh, has made the run from 17th place to this. And beat the guy who took him to losers. Yeah, that's right. Like, that's really impressive. Woo. But you're going to need more than impressive if you want to beat the box. Yeah. The HBox is a whole other type of animal. I will say that it always felt like Aklo's style to me, because of a little bit of how much Ooh. more defensive he is than the other Foxes, I feel like kind of works well versus Jigglypuff. Mm -hmm. He'll like pick his positions, you know, he won't like overextend in yeah. situations that might cost other Foxes a KO. And that kind of style, that kind of measured style can be very difficult for Puff to contend with. Yeah, like yeah. he's really fast in bursts. Exactly. He can chase down Puff really well. Like there he, he read the dash, ba uh, dash forward, Red the wave dash back on the up smash. Uh oh, but pound. Okay. Yeah, we just grab ledge there. Wow, that's just it. That's a low, low percent KO there. So far, uh, HBox has been doing a great job on the edge guarding in particular. Nice, beautiful shots. Oh, so Simon's to his death. When do you see sh uh, shine spike on Jigglypuff? That's that's a rarity. I mean, getting um, that far into stage, knowing that he was going to go for the air dodge in, uh, that's difficult, mm -hmm. right? Like getting that shine back out. Not placing on the wrong side, not getting antsy. I mean, he can he can win this game still, honestly. I mean, Puff dies, quote unquote, early, but uh oh, get the DI mix. But we're good. Great Flat tech off. chase. Yeah. Uh, doesn't oh. quite mean to get that oh. tournament winner there. His recoveries have been phenomenal this entire game, even yeah. in the previous set. Like some crazy, crazy angles for sure. But tournament winner that looks oh makes much as a lich. Oh Ooh, wait a second! Wait, actually, Bolt. the extension was so important because that extra damage on the shine and pushing to the left yeah. netted the KO. That was not going to be a KO off the nair up smash, I believe. I am. I'm almost certain. I mean, that was yeah. like a 60% a puff. Right. Oh, a little uh, bit before. Okay. Oh, oh drill. Oh, great drill. And no, the oh, get, making it back, but yeah. that's going to do it. That's going to do it. That's two stocks, I believe, that were lost to the tournament. tournament winning. Yeah. 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 Aklo's trying to do like these crazy ledge dashes, these crazy off ledge options. And, you know, sometimes you mess up and get tournament winning. Hey, that yeah. first frame, you're you're trying to drop ledge. It's not letting you. Right. That's how it is. So if you're if you're too nice with it. Yeah, sometimes you just lose out. Got to slow it down just I, a little. I really liked in the last game how whenever HBox would back air, not even if it would hit, but near the shield, he would oh. wave dash back immediately and wait for Aklo to aggress. He just grabbed in place like four times in a row. Hey, risk reward is pretty solid for the reward <laughs> aspect. For There's a, in <laughs> That's Jer the box. That's the box. In uh, New Jersey, Mott Money proposed a rule where if you whiff a grab three times in a row, you lose the game. That's actually That's so raw. <laughs> Just That's three? Three times in a row. Like, if you don't do any other moves in between. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we get up there. I mean, FD Box, standard counter pick. We don't want to puff the refresher jumps at all. We want her to hang tight. Mm -hmm. Less uh, opportunities for landing, no platforms to play with. Ooh, Ooh, gets out of the pressure there with the shine. I like that from Aklo. Aklo also doing a really good job DIing out of all the up throws so far that I've seen. Yeah. I mean, even when he Huge. is in a position or a percent where he gets hit after the fact, he's DIing the hit after like, quite you, well. Look you at have that. to instantly DI that. You have to like hold the direction almost preemptively, knowing that you're about to get grabbed in order to get that DI, because Puff's throw is so fast. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Justice. Uh, Justice often will just be like, just oh. pretend you're dash dancing the whole time. Like, yeah. just yeah. be just be trying as much as you can. Yeah, Cause it makes sense. Because it's okay. so bad if you miss it. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is up there up air percent. We are yeah, looking he's centered. H-Box really wants Aklu to approach him. Like, he is, like, taking space slightly, but he really, like, he's not. Oh, oh there's oh. the burst movement we saw in the, the Zane set. Nice. And Aklo's saying, I don't care. You can burst move all you want. I'm going to run off smash you. Yeah, and actually not even opting to do lasers as HBox is kind of retreating a little bit, knowing that, hey, I can still get you with this up smash. Yeah. You're at that percent. I mean, that's kind of the, the name of the game is HBox has been showing the more grounded oh. play style. Regrab, 
Not gonna go for pound, actually. This is a crazy sequence. Oh, beautiful and stuff. Double fair. This should be a stock, and that'll do it. Zero to death? Yeah. yeah. That was just pure, simple gameplay. Yeah. When what did you see Puff fancy? zero to death off of uh, no rest? Yeah, the extension there from HBOX is beautiful. Ooh. Okay. He hasn't really shown that he's SDIing much today, so I think going for the upper tier is still safe. Yeah, especially in the first stock, right, where it looked like you definitely got hit by the first hit into the second hit. That was like a, that one again, you know. That was a crazy grab too, because it uh, it covers the cross ups that HBOX has been trying to do. Uh, I'm really liking Aklo's adaptation to the cross ups, and yeah. also to a uh, HBOX's wave dash is back, where he would do the run forward up smash to cover it. Yeah, I think it's very effective against Marth because like being in that crouch, you know, you, you get to threaten like with grab. But Fox is just right down there in the trenches with you, man. It's not even that pressing for him to get you uh, grabbed up. Oh, like full run. Oh, did the shield check? Wanted to see if he can uh, kind of just take that extra beat, but. And now Aklo is loving these trades. Like, he will gladly take this to the bank. Definitely, but you don't want to get too high percent on Jigglypuff there because you still want to be able to up throw up air oh. or jab up smash. Yeah, he tried to up smash out of shield and he got stuffed out for it. Mm -hmm. All the KO setups that Aklo did, you know, HBOX hasn't shown that he's been able to get out of them yeah. as easily as he has been in other sets, which yeah. is going to be huge. I think if he locks in, he gets his SDI on those up airs. Mm -hmm. He stops putting himself in grounded positions at kill percent where he's trying to play around a wave dash mix up. He's going to be able to clean up and really start punishing just as hard as he was on that, that one FD stock. Yeah, and also you've got to watch out to when, when uh, Aklo's at low ish percent and HBOX is at high percent. Yeah. Aklo's been taking a hit. Crouch canceling it and then doing like a dash up smash. Yeah. And that's netted a couple of stocks as well. This stage, I think, could actually backfire on HBOX. It uh, could. I think Aklo is really good at playing the lead and is very good at playing the patient, like center stage uh, into jump to platform style that makes it so HBOX has to aggress. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's very much like there is not. Like, if you wanted to pick a player to crack and, like, approach you, it's not Aklo. Yeah, like, it, uh, if you ever watch uh, the modern-day HBox versus Moki sets, like, HBox will plank the ledge and sit in the corner because eventually Moki's going to approach. Aklo's not going to approach if no, he has a lead. Like, Aklo he can just sit pretty. Aklo is patient and okay playing that kind of defensive yeah. game. This is a guy who has timed out the swooper to win nightclub grand finals before on Dreamland. Hey, I mean, like, it's kind of beast, though. He's patient. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think of that Wevin said a lot too, the one collision. He's just willing to commit to the bit. Yeah. And it works fantastically if uh, you're up a stock on Puff. And I think that is uh -oh. really oh. important. Yeah, great rest. I think that's really important versus HBox in particular and versus Puff in general, right? Because you don't want to get frustrated by the Puff just kind of like hanging back a little bit, especially when you have laser and especially when you have all this amazing movement that Aklo has shown. <laughs> there it is. Just I mean, laser. I, I almost feel like he'll, he'll use Baby Brother laser to kind of just like coax people in sometimes because oh. like he'll he'll do it and it's like this is really not good ever but they're far enough away to where they feel like they have to make something happen to punish mm -hmm. it's kind of like how he'll use a bomb as link and like hit himself with it right just to like make you think you can get him out of the scramble very privy to the distances that he's keeping on hbox yeah. and what's safe and not safe oh, oh. oh. but even there yeah. he misses the nair immediately knows that he's going to get thrown and holds the di away that kind of stuff is so important. Yeah, I think you may have been right, Dark Genix. This is backfiring. It's yeah, pretty brutal. This is the most, like the biggest lead Aklos had this set. Yeah. I mean, we saw a lot of Yoshi picks out from HBox in the Zane set, but I don't know how comfortable he'd feel scrapping the whole time. I think he might, maybe he'll go found it. But th this game is not over yet. It's like, true. It, 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 it's getting close, but not over. Ah, uh, and when you uh, miss an edge guard like that, though, yeah. that HBox is sigh. That's a tough one. That to was draw. a touch. Hanging tight. Hang in tight. He's looking out of it. I mean, for this particular game, it's looking, looking curtains. I mean, it's a lot of work to get this comeback. Mm -hmm. Especially when Aklo's playing so grounded and getting all those, you know, crouch cancels Whoa. and ASDI downs on all the back airs. Yeah, I, I feel like even when he's on in the air, he just goes to platform immediately. Like, he's never floating in the air. And that was a three star. I just heard someone yell, yes, at the top of their lungs behind me. That, I, I've never, Aklo's got shooters. Someone's just wilding out right now for the three star. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Found a dream, so he called it. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to give Aklo as much space as he can, because he will take it to the bank. Yeah. Um, 
Hbox calls that Nair petting the dog. Uh, I was talking with him about it uh, when Why we were watching a Chango set. It's Why like, is it petting the dog? You just pet, like, the Nair is petting Fox on the head and getting him out of 0% oh, so he can go, go for up and rest. Oh, you just rest. go good dog. Yeah. yeah. Go good dog. Okay. Exactly, exactly. That'll be a trade, though. Yeah, I feel like Aklos kind of got that, we talked about it, that prickly pear style of defense where it's like, you're going to encroach on my space. That's cool. Uh, here's an up tilt, you know, here's a, a grab to with punish you. But uh, I feel like the low platforms are going to be really nice for him because we've seen him kind of catch a lot of H boxes mix ups off platform with up tilt. Mm -hmm. And he's really good at edge canceling off the platforms as well between the side Bs and whatnot. So yeah. oh. the edge guard is going to be a little nice. harder. I'm surprised the there was top. enough hit stun off that second upper to get the rest. Good recognition yeah. from H box there. And the star KO saving him from losing a stock. Exactly. I mean, 46 on top plat of five, that's definitely like either up smash or up throw up there. Mm -hmm. oh. Actually doing a fantastic job at avoiding these nares, like throwing out nair of his own, dashing back, uh, dash dancing a couple character lengths away. Nice. So that's H-Box can't get any percent. That's what I was talking about in the previous game. You got to really watch out when H-Box is at high percent and Aklos at low percent, because back air and forward air are going to be negative on hit, essentially, yeah. when the fox is grounded like that. Because he'll just run forward CC. Right. And it's, it's so good for dealing with it. And I wonder if H-Box is going to start trying to just like get the grab there instead because um, fox gets more off a counter hit oh absolutely mm -hmm. like either up smash or grab yeah because if you're in the air even like a low back air is dangerous and right? just like you said he's not going for more grabs he's yeah. going for up tilts but yeah trying to find those grounded job. options trying to play the mix a little bit better he's playing mm -hmm. on your platform as well oh oh jab jab. Set. forward smash. smash grab he covered it oh Ooh. beautiful short though Aklo simply doesn't miss those Woo. oh slide off we're coming back to stage. Oh, great call out on the side platform. Oh, oh. No punish oh. on the dash attack. It kind of crossed up as well, so it was a little bit difficult. I guess Puff could have maybe done like up smash out of shield to cover behind, but that's maybe. a tough spot. Yeah. Trying to coax that option out of shield. Oh, silky. That was playing. so fast. Yeah. Back air. Back oh. air. Was he still in hit still that whole time? He was, I that's believe. Wild. Again, I think that's another time where Aklo's SDI like in caused it so that you actually get the second back air yeah. as a result of it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Last stock situation. This could be HBox's tournament point. Drill grab. I love the recognition to shield after that, knowing that HBox is going to be able to hit the wiggle out. I like the dash dance, too, amidst the pressure mm -hmm. from Aklo. And Again. Is oh. Oh, look, look at this. It is so hard for HBox to get an Aklo running the show right now. I mean, the score is striking up. Up throw up air will probably KO here. Yeah. I just oh. I, I hear the violins playing, and I'm wondering if Who are they for? Yeah, the is HBox going to find his way through this. I mean, I, I feel oh, like oh, there, there's, there's the front. I guess the oh. Puffy Fox brings it to a game five. We were saying. I told you. The empty hop grab is exactly what he needed, and he does it right at the end. That was the only way he could have won that game. And also getting the reaction tech chase rest. I, I need someone to compose like a, a hungry box light motif that we can just start spamming on comms whenever whenever the sharks in the water, <laughs> whenever the horror movie villain starts peering out from the darkness. Because oh. he's right there. Always lurking. So are we in Western Massachusetts or Mandalay Bay? Oh my god. Alright, game five. On H Stadium 2. H-Box, no stranger to this moment. It's been all Game 5 bangers. Yeah, it really has. This what top four. Really good top nuts. four. Really good tournament overall, honestly. Extremely. All right. Yeah, looking yeah. for those grabs. One more grab and you're, you're out of the yeah, game. Yeah, you're out of the game. My money rule. My money said so. And we're okay. seeing those wave dashes again from H-Box. Ah, not oh. getting the smash. The eye is big. It's really big right now. Yeah, I feel like we haven't seen very much of it this entire no. today. It's been no. Rough. Kind of uncharacteristic. Trying to pet that dog. And Aklo knows that he's spacing beautifully around yeah. it. Oh, that's a really nice dash attack there. Actually covers the, the low wave. Oh, oh, into oh, laser? Wait, that's, so much damage. That's so much. He's at kill percent now off that. Again, great DI off the up throw. Oh, oh but wait, he got it? He wiggled out, and he managed to smash the fair out. Somehow, oh, that was really nice. It, it looked like HBox was going to grab the ledge and said does another jump back air yeah. to cover the up B. Fire transformation, we get some safety. Sitting on the ledge. Taking your time. Beckett's oh, yeah. upon Geo is hot. Legendary uh, New England puff. God, Geo is <laughs> hot. Uh-oh. I hear people yelling, we love Geo. I'm here. not I'm <laughs> not on I'm not on Twitter or anything, but he still makes it to Reddit. He still uh, he he somehow. Reddit loves him. Reddit loves Reddit Geo loves Geo is hot. Alright. Hanging tight, nothing to fear. I love that HBox just still hits the Kubrick stare even in times like this. 
Oh, wait, Aqua's oh, approaching. Hang on, hang on. We got movement. I just feel like there's no reason. Oh. There's no reason. What are you doing? Aklo is so crazy for even attempting yeah. that a little bit. And now he's in the corner. Yeah. Pet the dog. Oh. Oh. Wave dash back, not getting grabbed. Oh. Barely squirms away from that overshoot. This is so tense. Wave land off platform and do wave like dash through, trying right. to just try to find something. Mm -hmm. I like that H box isn't uh, isn't preemptively just going for these grabs and waiting it out. I also like the, not expect it. There's so much mix-ups that HBox is doing. It, yeah. He was doing like empty hop grab. Now he's doing like empty hop wave land back air behind Aklo's shield. Yeah. He's it, really just it, trying to deal with like the overshoot undershoot game by yeah. really just like <laughs> kind of obfuscating this whole area around Aklo's shield. It, it feels like Aklo is playing HBox's game right now, despite yeah. having a lead, and that's kind of scary for Fox, but. I can't believe it. wasn't a back air. I oh. felt this also in the Zane set where it, okay, that's, okay, that should yeah. be a KO. I felt this in the Zane set as well where it feels like HBox is almost faster than the other character the way that he's been kind of mixing up people on shield. Yeah, perfect wave dashes, perfect cross ups. Uh, like oh, hang on. Oh, pound, fair. Oh, jumped into it. Off the landing, building up a lot of percent. One back air is gonna send off stage. Oh, yeah, it doesn't fall for the uh, edge cancel. He's put that cold up times to know. Yeah, love a ledge dash to roll. Just maximizing invuln, hanging tight. Up oh, air. Well, what a call out, getting him off the windmill. Mm -hmm. Man, I feel like this, this oh, platform layout. That was, was so such good spacing box. around the full up there too. That was a super smart nair from H box. Mm -hmm. You just drift full in with that. Doesn't get up air there. That's crazy. Aklo makes it okay. again, yeah. another Dude, tournament winner. winner. He's ripping him too fast, man. Yeah, and Aklo, he was calling out Aklo's full hop, uh, the full hop uh, up air read. Yeah. So. And HBox doing like four tournament winners of his own, taunting Aklo's miss. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a second. Hang on. This could oh, be lethal. Oh, God. Caught the oh, jump God. back. He went for the jump back to get the safe and illusion. And he stands up in his seat. I mean, 59%. This is still up there, up there, percent. This is still very dangerous for Puff. But I mean, if HBox manages to sink this one, he's got another crack at Zane waiting for him. And Aklo. Might be dangerous for Aklo. I know. And HBox right playing the lead so well, just staying a little bit to the corner, wanting the access to back throw, wanting access to up throw, pushing off stage. Oh. Wanting side B and up air as well. Oh exactly. Aklo oh. fists the ledge. And now Aklo has to be the one to approach. Yeah. Because if you start lasering more, you can't up throw up air. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't want to get Puff outside that threshold. That's the decision making process right now. And HBox knows that he is sitting pretty in the side. Yeah. We got time. Oh. And, and Aklo with the perfect timing on the jab into up smash. Another game five last stock situation. Who is going to get a chance to fight Zane and Grants? Give me something here. Uh oh. That was a little scary full hop there. He might have gotten sharked out by an up air, but HBox resetting the platform. Oh, oh that was uh, scary. I thought Aklo was going to get shield grabbed. He's going back to cross ups. Oh. Okay. Double aerial, triple we're, aerial. We're holding in. They're trying oh! to get that off. Do it, Aklo! Aklo with the instantaneous yeah. up smash after three aerials. That was the quickest up smash. Off that conversion, insane. And that's, that is such that is such good recognition from Aklo because he built up the percent immediately, and instead of like backing up a little bit where Aklo might play a little defensively, yeah. he just stayed in H box's zone and did that up smash. Yeah, I, I think he was really hungry to like win that scramble. Exactly. He was just famished to try to find that stock, and I mean it just did not pay out. He he ate three aerials in two seconds, and then. One catch on the landing. I think he understood also because he got hit by those three aerials. HBox is in offense mode. He's going to keep drifting in. He's going to keep aerialing me. How do I beat this with a trade? Oh, wait. You're an up smash percent. See ya, buddy. Seven frame kill move. Look at this. Yeah. Just so, the, the pacing of it was so good for Macklo just to recognize. One, two, I think three. And then yeah. he just 54%. stayed. 54%. He stayed there. Yeah. And Normally the, he backs up. The short hop nair also covered a cross up or a drift on HBox's no. part. Like he just knew that he could do that uh, the safe nair on whatever HBox did because yeah. of that spacing. Like that, that was beautiful stuff. Crazy <laughs> comeback on Aklo's part. And HBox not getting clutch box no. in two sets. And Aklo wow. guaranteed second place. Aklo the grand finals of Wavelength? I was saying, <laughs> of the field, <laughs> there's an argument to be made that Aklo has the best shot outside of Zane to win this tournament. We'll see. I mean, 